morning guys um so today my mom is uh, making some uh chicken biryani for 30 people but uh it's going to be a big order so she wanted to show you all how she makes it on the outside fire well it's not the outside fire it's on the gas stove hello everyone okay so she's going to start off with her um onions first i think I have two cups of oil heated up in my pot and uh, the onions were chopped roughly. I'll allow these onions to fry out. My onions are browning up nicely. So, I have cinnamon stick to go with, soap, jeera, bay leaf, uh, black. Cardamom. Yes, and uh, a few clove and elaichi all the whole ingredients from my biryani mix. And then I'll put in my curry leaf and my thyme. I have two tablespoons of ginger garlic, but uh, last night I did marinate my chicken uh, with ginger garlic and the chicken marinades, so the chicken has its own marinade ginger garlic. Okay, my masalas, for every three cup of rice, I use a curry spoon of mixed masala. But uh, because I'm making biryani, so I added an extra tablespoon of dania and jeera and garam powder and extra two tablespoon of more hardi to bring out a beautiful color and a teaspoon of coloring. How many cups of rice are you cooking for? Uh, I'm cooking 12 cups of rice, so it is uh, 3 kilos in all. So then how many four, tablespoons? Eight, 12. So I caught about 4 tablespoons, a uh, curry spoon of mixed masala. And with all these, it makes it to about 5. So we are cooking uh, 8 kilos of chicken. And the chicken is a free range chicken. It's a uh, quite soft, like the pieces, but uh, it is not uh, uh, soaked in with water or bran. And in that chicken, we can use in the skin because yesterday I burnt out the skin and uh, cut them and washed it properly so I'm going to use in some of the skin. This cooking is being done for one of Pranesh's friends who's having a function. It's a yearly thing that he always gives me the cooking to do and he loves his free range chicken. I've soaked up three cups of Briani doll last night. Why I'm braising in my doll first? The chicken is going to be a very quick 
Paris. Okay, last night I marinated my chicken with uh, uh, two cups of sour milk and um, about uh, 200 grams of chicken spice and uh, two tablespoons of uh, some little bit of barbecue spice and uh, ginger garlic, a tablespoon and half a cup of oil. And you can see I had left the skin to most of the chicken because for who I'm doing cooking, requested for the chicken to have its skin on. Usually I take off the skin. And uh, this is eight kilos. And he requested for a little less uh, chicken. Usually when I'm cooking for 30 to 35 people, I use 10 kilo of chicken. Okay, I'm gonna give this a good stir and let the chicken to fry out. And usually when I use the sour milk, I don't use tomatoes to my cooking. And uh, you can follow up on my chicken biryani recipe. It's similar, but there's a little bit of addition to be done to the cooking. I'm gonna add in my salt now, but bear in mind our marinade, our coloring has the own salt. So just say I'm using about uh, two tablespoons of salt, but we will taste it on as it's cooking. That's the purpose why I'm using this spoon. The spoon is quite old for me. It's about how many years old? I've been, been cooking for a school. Maybe about 15 years old. Maybe more. It's quite old. And then you also bought me another spoon when you went traveling. Okay, my chicken is fried out and must remember this is the fresh free range chicken that doesn't contain much of the water like the uh, frozen chicken. So I had to add in maybe a liter of water for starting, for letting the chicken to cook out thoroughly. This is a liter of water and I'll allow this to cook. It's tied out very beautifully. You can see the colors are quite rich. So I'll let it to uh, I cook for about 15 minutes and then I'll come in to add my frozen peas. Okay, I'm checking on my chicken. Oh, you can see it's getting done very nice. But now I will stop stirring my chicken. But instead, I will keep turning the pot to the side of the heat. So that's how it will get done. If you're going to keep stirring, you might start interfering, breaking the chicken. Okay. Now the meat and the biryani jol is done. So I'm going to add in my frozen peas, which is a kilo. Give it a different color to the biryani. Some green, some orange, some red.
and I roasted out my potatoes. I have about 20 potatoes that I cubed and uh, put in color in and roasted it out. So I'm going to add in my all my potatoes. And then uh, after about another 15 to 20 minutes, the curry will be completely done. I'm going to give it one final stir so my potatoes will soak in some of the gravy. A very big step pranesh will help me. Now I'm gonna let this to simmer for about 20 minutes and then I'll garnish my curry then I'm let it, ready to set in my biryani. Uh, this is uh, my boiled rice. I did 12 cups of it which is three kilos. I boiled with the four bay leaves uh, two tablespoons of uh, hardi and uh, just say about three tablespoons of salt but you can taste where your salt and after straining I put in three tablespoons of margarine uh, to keep these grains separate and I put uh, about a tablespoon of coloring and uh, shook it well and this is part of the rice of which I'm going to do the setting of the curry. And I have another part of rice to add on. Now the curry is completely done and garnished. I garnished uh, the chicken with the spring onions and uh, this onion. Yes, to my part of rice. I'm going to dish out the curry and it still has to steam for another 15 minutes for the curry to get into the rice. After that steaming is done, then we can stay in the curry. You don't stay in while you're setting. These enamel plates come away very handy. It's old fashioned, but it does a powerful job. And then I'm going to put in part of my rice to it. The salt was tasted by Pranesh, it was uh, right the first time. It's the funniest thing. I always go this. This amount is looking like it will fit 40 to 50 people. See, I allowed some gravy to stay and I didn't dry 
the curry completely because now I'll put the stove on low and let it simmer for another 15 to 20 minutes. And then it's done. As you can see, this instead of stirring the curry, I turn the pot round and round. You can see the chicken pieces pieces are still whole. Before I really send out the biryani, I will garnish it with some lovely uh, pudina. I've got a lot of fresh pudina in the garden. The pudina usually get black, so I'll do that in the last moment. I will let the viewers to guess how many can feed in this pot. Okay, now it's done. I'll just uh, put on the heat for a low time for about 15 to 20 minutes. And uh, then uh, I will let it to let the gravy simmer into the rice. And then I'll garnish. This is our biryani for 30 to 40 people. I don't know how many will uh, try to attempt this. Uh, but... Uh, it's looking very tasty. I hope you all enjoyed watching and thank you all very much. Enjoy.